Alright guys, I regret to inform you that I have some unfortunate news to share. Lately, it seems that we've been receiving a continuous stream of bad news. Over the past couple of weeks, it has become increasingly evident that games like Insurgency Sandstorm, and potentially many more beyond it, are facing serious risks. And while I cannot predict the fate of the global economy, as I am not an economist, I firmly believe that the gaming industry is on the verge of a recession. The main evidence I have for this is the rampant trend of massive investors acquiring intellectual property, like Insurgency Sandstorm, without realizing its true value. And consequently, many of the games that we have been following closely, who have been bought out, like Insurgency Sandstorm, appear to be the next casualty of the ongoing cuts and cancellations that these investors are allegedly being forced to enact to save their investments. If you don't really understand what's going on, allow me to explain further. In 2020, the developers of Insurgency Sandstorm sold their studio entirely to a conglomerate investor called Embracer Group. Embracer Group is another massive conglomerate that has been rapidly acquiring various studios. They even obtained the rights to tear down a game that many of you are familiar with. This development probably puts Teardown at risk as well. Since the acquisition, there has been a noticeable shift in the mindset and direction of Insurgency Sandstorm's development. The focus has shifted away from content releases and towards monetization strategies, including microtransactions and their famous in-game store. While this has undoubtedly frustrated some members of the Insurgency Sandstorm community, it has not spelled the death of Insurgency Sandstorm yet. The game remains playable and enjoyable, but unfortunately, this might have changed yesterday when Embracer Group, the massive holding company, announced plans to close studios cancel games, and lay off developers. This decision came after a massive $2 billion contract that they were hoping for fell through. The CEO of Embracer Group declared that the company would reduce spending, decrease third-party publishing, and streamline operations for the foreseeable future. This announcement closely resembles the exact same statement that was given by EG7, another massive investor, before they shut down the development studio that created Rising Storm 2 and canceled the game 83, which was the next project that that studio was working on. This is a disturbing trend that has caught my attention and, if you've been following my channel, has probably caught your attention too. This is not an isolated incident, but rather a wave of incidents that is creating a troubling pattern. These are publishers who are realizing their investments were bad investments. And since the developers of these games have taken advantage of that situation and have completely sold the rights to their games and moved on, these investors have no choice but to shut down operations due to the lack of manpower necessary to sustain development. This is something that is becoming somewhat apparent with the situation between Hell Let Loose and Team 17, the company that acquired the rights to Hell Let Loose after the original developers, known as the studio Black Matter, sold the game's rights for a substantial sum of $50 million. Ever since Team 17 took over development, there has been a noticeable decline in the quality of updates, with some updates actually breaking features and making the game worse. Now, personally, I actually know many of the developers from Black Matter who worked tirelessly on Hell Let Loose. Their talent and dedication was instrumental in creating the exceptional game that we fell in love with. However, with them no longer involved with the development, I think you can see the direction that Hell Let Loose is going in. This is a very similar situation to what is currently happening with Insurgency Sandstorm. 
It is also similar to what just happened with the game 83. Furthermore, even games like Heroes and Generals was just completely canceled. For those unaware, Heroes and Generals was an online World War II game that has now been rendered completely unplayable. It had a lot of microtransactions and battle passes, but it does not matter how much money you poured into that game, it is now gone forever. And again, this is not an isolated incident. This is becoming a widespread issue. And as time progresses, I think more and more games that were once thought untouchable are falling victim to this exact problem. And I think Insurgency Sandstorm might be the next project on the chopping block. Now, before we continue, I would like to take a moment to mention our sponsor, which today happens to be myself. As many of you know, I have always believed that the only solution to this problem is to create a community-driven, non-profit game that we release for free on Steam. And, well, our community has accomplished just that. And while I know a lot of people are tired of me shamelessly plugging my own project, I don't know how many other games, some of which you maybe have poured thousands of dollars into, that you need to watch die right in front of your eyes until you realize that maybe backing a nonprofit community-made project wouldn't be the worst idea. So if you want to download our game, Operation Harsh Doorstop, for free on Steam, link is down below. We are not owned by a giant conglomerate investor, and rest assured, we have no plans to change that because we're a free game. I don't think very many investors are interested in investing into a game that's free. But ultimately, I want to know your thoughts. Are you frustrated by this situation? Are you worried? Do you believe there is still a glimmer of hope amidst this crisis? Can these investors turn things around for some projects like Insurgency Sandstorm or even Hell Let Loose? While the present circumstances may not look optimistic, I still hold out hope that some of these games can survive the obvious recession that's currently happening in the industry. But please, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Have you observed similar situations with other games or other studios unfolding in the industry? Share your thoughts, and of course, thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you press that subscribe button, and as always, I hope I'll see you on the battlefield very soon. Cheers.